I don't know. I love Trash to Cash. I love Dave. I love Kerry. I love Kevin. I just, I, I totally disagree with this take. And it, it really kind of bothered me. Whoa, whoa. Here I come. Here I come. Taylor yeah. Exchange. Dude, I was just watching this guy's live today. Look at him. Oh, oh this is the guy that thinks you're great. Does he? Right? I don't know. Yeah. I didn't He's watch like the whole thing. inspired by Dave. I'm like, really? Inspired by what? Yeah, exactly. What exactly has Dave done that's <laughs> inspirational? Well, that's a great question. Let me tell you why I think Dave is inspiring. I think Dave is inspiring because he portrays himself like stumbling around sometimes not not doing like the right things on eBay. He's actually extremely intelligent and a very high earner. I just wanted to make this video to talk about how I really feel about what Kevin said with his comments of 70,000 being bad. And I'm gonna show some clips. I've watched this over and over again. It, it really kind of, it got me fired up just because I think it's kind of ridiculous to say that uh, 70K a year is terrible. I think it's respectable. So Let's just let's just get straight into this and and uh you guys let me know what you think no social media average person full-time reselling what's a realistic gross number for a year totally in a totally good in a good city not in the middle of nowhere. gross makes no difference to me because i heard i think i heard somebody the other day talking great about you and they gave the gross number and it was like I don't, know, I don't want to throw it out because I'm not exactly My sure but gross let's say number? it's two no it was oh. somebody talking about their numbers and oh, they're okay. they were like Fine. My that, gross number is, is fine. two. Fine. Wait a minute, I'm making a point. Like two hundred fifty thousand dollars gross, and they said their net was seventy. Okay, that's fine. Like, so net what? Net. That's then. terrible. Do net. Net's the only thing that makes a difference. Basically what he said was 70K a year net profit was terrible. I know he doesn't know my whole situation. I live in Wichita Falls, Texas, not Dallas, Fort Worth. If I did live in Dallas, Fort Worth, maybe I could do better than 70K. And we're talking a 50 hour work week. For one, the US median average income is $44,000. Now median is not average because it takes away the outliers. It's just like the middle. Next, we have Texas. Now in Texas, it's $34,000 for a single income earner. In Wichita Falls, it's $26,500. I don't understand how somebody could say 77,000 is terrible. Now, maybe he's thinking of the percentages, but I've watched this clip over and over again, and I love these guys. I, I'm a big fan of Dave, of Carrie, and you know, Kevin, I, I was a pretty big fan of, and now I'm just, I'm really questioning his ideology on like earning money in, in the country. Let, let me throw out an example for you guys. If you're an Amazon seller, and you sell a million dollars gross sales. The percent profit is, I think would be lucky to be 10%. So they would be a $100,000 a year earner at 50 hours work week, but they sold a million dollars worth of stuff. Now, is that terrible? Or is that like you made $100,000 in the United States or anywhere? That To me, that's an extremely good income. It's a different outlook whenever I'm not paying a dollar and, and finding like, you know, like a trinket or like, a, like an ashtray or a golf club and selling it for 50, like, or a hundred. I don't, I don't run that game. What, what got me mainly fired up about this is just the way he looked when he said terrible and then he he did backtrack but i think 50 to 80 net would be like hey you're doing pretty solid and oh I, yeah you totally. know i, I think that'd disagree. be pretty average would be 50 to 80 net now, Dave, so a lot, a lot of people would be near the 50 number. Though. Now, Dave is um, somebody who went full time recently. Both these guys, even Carrie, they're making money on social media. And I just want to explain, like, after making a little bit of success on YouTube and the little bit of money I made, I can only really fathom how much these guys are actually making because uh, Dave gave a pretty good comprehensive breakdown of his money, but. Uh, it's it's insane. Let's just say it's it's very good. That skews everything. I think it puts people into a mindset of like, oh, it's easy to make this much money doing other things. But when it comes to reselling, there's absolutely diminishing returns whenever you go into the higher income brackets. There's less stuff to get. It's a lot of processing. Now I do have help this year. I hired Randy as a part-time helper and I'm, I'm probably going to profit like 60 grand again this year. Kind of last year, I thought it was 60. I had other incomes. It was closer to like 54, 54,000 last year and I had 193,000 in sales. Now, to me, that's not terrible. I'm actually really proud of that. I heard that, you know, this is terrible. That's terrible money. Like 70K is not terrible. I don't see how what I'm doing it would be considered terrible because Kevin was kind of alluding to 100K being like attainable if you're in the right city. It's not the norm. Now, there was a part where they said maybe 5%. I think he was kind of walking it back a little bit. No, no, I think I it's hard. I, I think 100K do. net is hard. Did I say it was easily doable? It seemed did, like I'm you sorry. were saying it's 95% of the people who are doing it full time are making between 25 and maybe fifty thousand dollars maybe he doesn't like influencers who talk big gross numbers because to him that doesn't mean anything but uh you know 50 60 70k reselling items you know full-time work 40 50 hours a week 
that that is something it's something to be proud of a lot of, i mean think about it a software engineer out of college probably makes like 60 65 thousand dollars a year you know starting out like uh, reselling stuff you know no college degree here i i don't understand why somebody would would um kind of snub 70k like it's it's just it's a bit bizarre to me and i i hope um i hope it doesn't like turn a lot of people off hearing that you know, I'm, I'm against this guy's point of view on this. I just think it's it's important to note that, you know, any anytime you can work for yourself and, and pay your bills and support your family, like it's respectable. Reselling is not a, a golden ticket to make $100,000. It's not a golden ticket to make $50,000. It's it's probably a golden ticket to make twenty dollars or $30,000 pretty comfortably. But when when you get into the higher brackets and, and you start seeing how sourcing is and 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 what what it really takes to process it and store it and, and, and everything, it's it's much, much different. So um, an, another thing, one more thing before I before I get off here is like I hate hearing somebody like snub something if they've never done it. Like if if he's never made 60, 70 K just reselling alone, why would he say that's terrible if somebody else said they did it? Whether they sold two hundred and fifty thousand dollars gross or a million dollars gross if they made 70k that's a good income that it, it absolutely is if it's you know 40 50 hours a week so i i don't know man i don't know i love trash to cash i love dave i love carrie i love kevin i just i i totally disagree with this take and it, it really kind of bothered me uh it bothered me a lot i mean that's why i'm making this video so i hope you guys uh leave some comments down below like what do you think is a respectable income in the united states what do you think about uh 70k being terrible <laughs> and what do you think about uh the the realistic shot of making 100k because it's uh it's definitely harder than it looks it, it's harder than it looks and and i've not done it so i i really don't know but uh, i appreciate you guys watching uh, i'll see you next time